Welcome to another Integrated Trading Showcase, Integrated Trading with Interactive Brokers and eSignal. Hi, I'm Brent Threadgill, Quote Traders Product Manager. Stick around after this brief review for information on how you can start making a difference in your trading by using eSignal's integration. This demonstration assumes you've already installed Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation and you're already a subscriber to eSignal. First, we'll go to eSignal's homepage. On the main menu, select Partners, then Brokerages. Scroll down to the complete set of brokers and select Interactive Brokers, known as IB. This is the integrated trading page for Interactive Brokers. In the section titled To Get Started, we'll go to number three and click the link titled Download the Interactive Brokers Plugin. Then, after accepting the license agreement, then click Next. Check the box Select as Default Broker. Before we finish, check the connection by clicking the checkbox titled Modify Broker Connection Settings. But before we click the Next button, we'll launch and log into IB's Trader Workstation, also known as TWS. If you don't have an account with IB yet, here's a tip. IB supports a free demo account. At the TWS login prompt, just enter the username eDemo and in the password field, enter Demo User. To enter the username and password, click Logitech Launches, logs into TWS. This demo account is available 24-7 and provides a realistic simulated trading environment, perfect for becoming proficient with the trading integration of IB. Now that TWS is launched, we need to enable it to communicate with eSignal. On TWS's main menu, simply click Configure and make sure the following three options are selected. Enable ActiveX, download open orders on connection, and fire open order on status change. With that done, we can return to the trade engine's installation. Check Edit Broker Connection Settings. Some folks use several applications to simultaneously access their IB account via TWS. If you're one of them, click and change the client ID to a higher number like 3 or 4. Then click Next and click Next again. TWS will prompt you to confirm that you want to establish a connection. So we'll click Yes and you can see the exchange between Trade Engine and TWS. And referring to the lower left corner, you'll also see that we passed. Let's finish by clicking Next. And close. And click Close on the configurator. Now, let's launch eSignal. And on the main menu, click Trade, then Preferences. And to make sure the default column displays Yes next to Interactive Brokers. And at the bottom, the selection integrated is chosen in the drop-down menu. Once done, click Close. We're almost through. Now, just to confirm that we've configured the integration correctly, click Trade, Interactive Brokers, then Broker Window. The TWS incoming connection prompt tells us that we're successful. Click Yes, and the Broker Window will open. Now, one last thing. Look at the bottom, one last thing. Look at the bottom right at the Broker Window, and you'll see a green status light. If for some reason there's interference between eSignal and TWS, or if you close TWS, this light will turn red. Well, I hope you learned a few new ways eSignal's trading integration can help your trading. If so, let us know. You can contact us directly by emailing trading at quote.com or visit us on the web at quote.com or eSignal.com, where you can get Quote Trader, the integrated trading, or more information, including access to online help and our community of active traders on both Raging Bull and eSignal Central. Remember, Quote Trader and Integrated Trading is free. So install it today and find out how it can make a difference in your trading.